RCMP began investigations with reports from inside Canada's Level 4 Microbiology Lab of wrongdoing. The reports are based on policy and procedure breach during the transportation of dangerous pathogens to China. Winnipeg's lab is home to H. Co. MERS SARS virus confirmed by lead director Frank Plummer in 2013. The lab has undergone studies on the SARS virus to further increase the stockpile of the virus where it is believed to have engineered further viruses without establishing property rights to gain more information. During this time on multiple occasions, Dr. Q has been documented attending Wuhan's virology laboratory located in China on four different occasions for two weeks at a time. The idea is for Canada's microbiology lab and scientist virology institute to share information with regards to the virus. These viruses are believed to be with regards to sharing information that the teams would be looking at to increase the knowledge and development of a past possible vaccine. At some point during the development and cross-breeding of the genome structure of the SARS virus, the intellectual property rights had not been established. On March 31st of 2019, the intellectual property rights had been removed from the Winnipeg Microbiology Laboratory headed for China. All guidelines were followed sending these pathogens with regards to safety of the community, but who owns the rights to the virus? Developing a virus with this level of advancement would require a deep understanding of the genome structure for development of a vaccine to fight this type of virus. As the development of these viruses comes into light, who profits? As the property rights aren't established, it opens the door for exploitation of the virus itself and the exploitation of the Budapest Treaty designed to avoid this exact thing of individuals taking property rights of something that they don't actually own and to gain the profits from it. The distractions, the headlines, the stock market crash, the world on lockdown, the death of Frank Plummer, oil collapses. On July 5th, after a short period of time in the RCMP investigation, Dr. Q, the lead antiviral anti-infection chair, her husband and an unknown number of other individuals who are believed to be Chinese students were removed from Canada's microbiology lab, removing security clearance, being put on a leave for the unforeseeable future. This, remo this removal comes based on March 31st transportation of Ebola and a Hena virus to the Wuhan Virology Laboratory. The viruses were provided to Chinese scientists as part of a routine sharing of infectious agents, fulfilling the national microbiology's mandate to promote public health research worldwide. On multiple occasions, it's been established Chinese scientists have attempted to smuggle intellectual property. On multiple occasions, it's been established Chinese scientists have been carriers of dangerous infectious diseases, exposing the real world with casualties that follow. On multiple occasions, it's been established that severe acute respiratory syndrome is able to find a host and grow exponentially. These incidents continue to pile up with the influence from China stretching all over the world. Corona-19 isn't going away anytime soon. This virus's ability to spread, its ability to cling on to you, as it morphs into something new as a stronger mutated virus, it doesn't care about protocol and it sure as hell doesn't care about you.